Hello and welcome to From the Helm here live at the Resources Rising Stars Conference on the Gold Coast for the 21st year. I'm Grady Wolf, Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Now Firefly Metals is an emerging copper gold company focused on advancing the high grade copper gold project, the Green Bay Project in Canada. Steve Parsons, Managing Director, thank you for joining me today. It's good to see you again. Nice, nice to be here. It's great to be on the Gold Coast. Actually. It is exciting, yeah. beautiful day out there. Now Firefly Metals, it's kind of a new one on the horizon for a lot of our investors out there. Can you just give us a quick overview of what you're up to and what the company is doing? Yeah, well, we've got a copper and gold project in New Finland and we only just bought it in uh, October last year. So it is relatively new. We only started drilling on it in, uh, in January of this year. So, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're looking to grow that resource and expand it. And, you know, we've only just started really. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're playing in the right place. Come on the commodities of the year are copper and gold. Now you've just recently released some really strong and outstanding results in the assays there. Can you tell us about them and what the results mean moving forward? Yeah, so again, so we typically put out results about every four weeks or so. And again, it was what we put out was uh, extensions to that uh, current existing resource that we have. And the resource is 40 million tonnes of 2% wow. copper already. So it's already a pretty big resource. It's huge. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But our view is it's going to grow a lot bigger than that. So yeah. we actually have four drill rigs turning at the moment. And then those drill results we put out were extensions of the high grade mineralisation, which is copper and gold and then the big broad football zone, which is going at about 2% copper. And how big do you see this resource getting? Oh, how? Look, the uh, the reason. Look, when we bought the project, as I said, you know, the, it, it is already a really big uh, resource there, yeah. forty million tons. I think, you know, with the drill rigs that we have turning, we've got a resource statement coming out in October of this year, so you're going to see growth on that. Awesome. We're going to come out with another resource statement in April next year, so again, growth on top of that. Okay. You're probably going to a lot see of a third resource update coming out, uh, sort of middle to late next year as well. So okay. for us, we actually think the resource is going to grow a lot over the next, uh, you know, six to twelve to eighteen months. Now, Steve, Firefly is a big land holding at Green Bay. Can you tell us about the scope of this and is there potential to repeat this in the area? Yeah, oh, really great question. Like we, uh, when we bought the project, there was actually a small project area and over the last six months, we've actually acquired all the ground that you can possibly get there in Green Bay. So we've owned all of the volcanoclastic sedimentary rocks. And what that means is that, you know, typically these, uh, these mines happen in clusters. So we've got the first one of those and what we're hoping to show it over the next 6, 12, 18 months is, you know, a few more of these. How hard is it to mine in Green Bay versus, say, Australia, where you're used to mining in Perth and WA? Oh, look, I mean, you know, Newfoundland, Labrador, it's a, it's one of the mining meccas of the world. I mean, you've got uh, giant iron ore mines there, Champion Iron, which everyone will be familiar with in Australia is there. You've got um, Voises Bay, which was Robert Friedland's massive discovery, which is owned by Vale there. Mm-hmm. You've got Rio Tinto Tata Steel. So, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a major mining jurisdiction. It's just like in Western Australia or, say, South Australia. Now, gold is your background. You're well known in the industry. What attracted you to Firefly Metals? Well, it comes down, well, I'm, I'm a geologist by background, so yeah. it does come down to the deposit. And so, you know, we've obviously had some really good success there with gold over, over the years with the various companies. Um, but, you know, copper is no different. And if you've got a really good resource and all the right geological ingredients, which is what this has, you know, it's, uh, it's certainly, you know, one of the reasons why we've sort of jumped on board. So it is a very early stage right now because you're just doing the exploration and the drilling. Um, Can you give a rough timeline to production or not just yet? Yeah, so um, look, you know, the project was in production uh, in the 80s, 90s and 2000s and more recently in production. But our view is that the the geology just hasn't been looked at and hasn't been worked on for a number of years. So our view is, you know, growing the resource and hence why the resource growth uh, that we'll be doing over the next few months, as I said, um, and so we think that we'll be able to upscale to a much larger operation. So I don't want to talk about size yeah. at the moment, but yeah. we think that we'll be doing something that will actually be, uh, you know, of large scale. And how do the grades compare in, say, Green Bay to your WA or other mining jurisdictions for copper? Yeah, I mean, you know, we sort of classed as a high grade deposit. I guess over the years, you know, uh, grade does come down for a lot of projects and yeah. they become suddenly high grade. But we are blessed. You know, the, um, the, the results we put out today showed some, you know, sort of 10, 12 percent uh, copper equivalents in there. So high grade copper with good grade gold as well as a credit. And a lot of these projects, they typically have other other elements as well, like lead or zinc yeah. and things like that. And we're really lucky in the fact that it is copper with gold. That's the commodity combo that you want exactly. right now. Exactly. Um, how do you see the price of copper flowing over the next year, two years, five years? 
Yeah, so look, you know, copper is certainly one of the one of the uh, commodities to be in. I think there's a few other um, you know metals out there at the moment which might struggle over the next few years. But you know, there's uh, demand for copper is looking very very strong. And you know, as the world becomes more electrified in everything that it does, you know, copper is definitely the the element to be in. Steve, thank you for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed that episode from the helm. If you did, why not subscribe to the Resources Rising Stars and Bell Direct YouTube channels.